Lord is risen. He is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Amen. And Let's pray together. <laughs> God, we are so grateful for this morning, for Lord, the truth that it brings. God, for all that it means for us. And Lord, as we are here gathered in this place this morning for this, this time of worship, Lord, we pray your blessings on us. God, we pray to feel your presence here as we are reminded God, that on this day, Lord, we are told that this place is only temporary and that there is coming a day when we too will be raised just as you were raised, that we will spend eternity with you in glory. Be with us, Lord, we pray in this day of worship. Help us, Lord, to rejoice in the good news that the tomb is empty and you are alive. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Were you there when he rose up from the grave? Were you there when he rose up from the grave? Oh, sometimes it causes me. from Holy Scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I often read from this chapter when we are gathered in this place, but this morning I want to read the words before, the words we often hear there. Now if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain, and your faith has been in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God, because we testified of God that He raised Christ, whom He did not raise if it is true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins." then those also who have died in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are all of all people most to be pitied. But in fact Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order... Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom of God to the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power, for he must reign until he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is plain that he does not include the one who put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who put all things in the subjection under him, so that God may be all in all. The truth of resurrection is that just as Christ has been raised, we too shall be raised that every grave in this place will be empty, that everyone we have lost in any time in our lives, we will see again, as they will be raised up just as Christ has been raised. That's the full hope of Easter Sunday, that Christ has been raised and we too shall be raised up from the ground, up from the grave, that death is not the final word, that hope joy, faith, 
and love. Those are the final words. Those are the final words of Easter Sunday. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together. Christ, we are thankful. Thankful for the truth that you have been raised on this Easter morning. And that that truth means, God, that we too shall be raised. That death is not an end. That death is not final. That sin and evil and wickedness and fear are not final. God, that hope, <clears throat> hope in a coming day of resurrection will reign, will call us on, and that, Lord, the word of your love is what's fine. So be with us this morning as we worship, as we continue on in fellowship and praising your name and rejoicing in this great day. Lord, be with us, we pray, in the name of the risen Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sing this chorus. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know to stay here in the cemetery for as long as you'd like we have breakfast over at the church and so if you'd like to make your way over there that's where we'll be gathering at this time go in peace in the love of christ the son Amen. Amen.